morning guys today is an exciting day and probably an exciting vlog it is the 9th no it's not it's the 8th of september and i've got very quickly ready i am not going to stay looking this rough because i'm actually moving out today and i'm putting on a really excited voice but i'm not gonna lie i'm so nervous as well um so today i'm moving to leeds if you're new to my channel you probably won't know so i will just repeat for those of you that are new i'm moving to leeds for university i'm doing a foundation course i'm not doing an undergraduate however i'm still moving into halls of residence so that is what i'm doing today i don't get the key until two that's swearing who Leeds is an hour away so we're gonna leave just before one it's currently half past ten and I just want to go and get my nails done because I just feel more put together when my nails are done and I don't want to have to paint them this week at all so I'm gonna go and get some gel nails put on and then the moving vlog will commence I'm actually doing it over two days the move I don't know how I'm gonna film it yet but today I'm moving the majority of my stuff in and then I'm coming home and then tomorrow I'm moving the rest of my stuff in and my family and Tom and everybody are like coming with me to like say goodbye we're gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna stay there tomorrow night so let's get on with the vlog I also just received the most exciting delivery ever from Beauty Bay so they have sent me their new color theory palettes which I don't even think these are out yet but they said to molly you're one of the first to get your hands on our new color theory palettes we hope you're obsessed with them as we are and i am i've just looked at these palettes i've taken them all out of their absolutely gorgeous packaging just so that i can show you but look they've sent me three eyeshadow palettes i'm actually in love so this is the origin origin <laughs> origin one and this is like loads of gorgeous neutral colors look how stunning this palette is oh my god so they sent me this one which is I think like their neutral palette so that would be perfect if you're wanting to start out then they sent me their evolve one which is a little bit more out there again kind of similar um but absolutely gorgeous that shade would have been perfect for my prom dress look how pretty they are oh my god <laughs> and then this is their identity palette which i think is my absolute favorite look at the shades in this the bright ones are just my favorite these reds are going to be so good in the autumn that is really like i don't know if you can see it's kind of iridescent the palettes generally are just gorgeous they've all got bees printed into them because these are by beauty bay like the actual brand beauty bay so thank you so much like honestly this has made my morning these three palettes single-handedly have made my day and they also sent me these stickers which i don't know if you meant to like decorate the palette with but i'm gonna keep them because I might stick them on my phone <laughs> so yeah thank you so so much beauty bay honestly that's made my day i'm gonna go and get my nails done now and then i need to come back sort my hair and face out and go and move in i'm talking to some of my flatmates on facebook because we have actually found each other like on the unite students app yeah i've just been having a little chat <sighs> So I'm now in the car. Well, I went to get cash out at Morrison's and they've opened a new B&M in Beverly, which seems to be the highlight of everybody's day because the whole town is in that shop. And I popped in because I haven't found any command strips yet, like to put my pictures on the wall with this afternoon. Cause if you don't know, you can't put like nails and stuff into walls that you're either renting or student accommodation. Um, so you have to put them up with other things. So I needed some command strips and I found them finally, but B&M was so busy that it took me forever. And I'm on kind of a tight schedule because we do want to leave it like, quarter to one ish and it's now quarter to 11 that's two hours time and i still need to like pack everything into the car straighten my hair get ready kind of um and get my nails done so yeah it's gonna be a rush but when is my life not okie dokie i'm back from town i didn't film anything because i literally just went to get my nails done and then come back so my nails are done let me focus the camera on them look how pretty they are they're like sparkly and black the reason that they are this short is because all summer i've had acrylic nails on um i had like my set for prom which i had on for like three weeks and then i had another set of acrylic nails on for three weeks so i had acrylics on for six weeks and when i had them taken off my nails were so weak that they just snapped um but they're kind of stronger now because of that like i cut all of the bits that were really weak off and like had them filed and stuff and then now because i've got gel on they feel quite strong again so yeah went for black because matches everything easy um and now i'm just going to do a little bit of makeup before i go out so i'm going to use the new um origin palette from beauty bay that they just sent me this is not sponsored i didn't even know i was getting these like these just appeared at my house this morning and that is what i'm going to miss when i move out today gonna miss all my deliveries because i'm not gonna change my shipping address there's just no point i'm living in leeds for a year but i am planning on coming home like every other weekend because 
Leeds is about 50 minutes on the train um, so like I can come home every two weeks so there's just no point in changing my shipping address for me to then have to change it back again like generally when I get deliveries and stuff I'm still gonna get them sent here so yeah I think I'm gonna go for pink eye makeup and then I'll show you when I'm done I've just been watching YouTube I've missed YouTube this week because if you haven't been watching my vlogs which probably quite a lot of you haven't I was in centre parks this week with my friends from school as like a kind of like a goodbye thing before we all went off to uni and that meant that I haven't watched any YouTube so I'm just catching up on my favourites um watching some vlogs and then yeah I'll update you as we're about to leave which is going to be soon okay so I'm now quite a bit more put together and I haven't worn proper makeup in ages I keep saying this basically all summer I just haven't worn much makeup and I'm still not wearing any face makeup or anything but I have well I went to get my eyebrows done yesterday I don't I don't know if I mentioned that I think I did so my eyebrows like I have no product on them I just got them done yesterday um but the eyeshadow is so pigmented like honestly I, da I dabbed my makeup brush in it once and this happened like what and the shimmer is also really gorgeous as well like i know that this is not the best eyeshadow in the world but it's just so that i've got a little bit of eyeshadow on and from far away it looks fine um so yeah i'm pretty much ready now i'm gonna be getting some lunch and then i think we're leaving in about 45 minutes so it hasn't fully hit me yet because i'm not there but i think when i get there i will probably be like oh my god what is actually happening right now also why do i have like a weird brown patch on my head really don't have that in real life but it's making me paranoid all right that was weird i don't know it's kind of because i don't have any face makeup on so my complexion does look a bit odd like i've just got eye makeup on and that's basically it um so yeah we're gonna head off i'm ready to go i've chosen to wear this even though i'm not like the biggest lover of this jumper it's just really easy to wear it's from urban outfitters and it's like cropped and kind of like slouchy it kind of like goes off your shoulders and then i've got like a halter neck bralette underneath it that is the exact same shade you would think that they were bought together but they're not this is from victoria's secret pink this is from urban outfitters and now we're gonna get moving let's move out so we have now pretty much started well pretty much done loading up the car just have these boxes left then this is my bin with my fairy lights in it and then this has some more stuff that might like, might break in it and then this is going to be my laundry basket isn't it mm -hmm. and then my big picture but everything else is in the car isn't it it's raining so we just got a few more bits and bobs to put in and then i think we're ready to set off the majority of stuff was here it's now like in the car not quite sure how it's in the car because you don't have the biggest boot do you it's big enough normally normally i'm not moving out harry's not coming with us today because um there's no room and also we're going back tomorrow as i already explained so harry's staying here and then we're all coming back tonight and then we're going tomorrow with harry you've not seen my accommodation yet have you bye stop waving the teddy so um i'm in the car with all my stuff packed at the side of me and i never sit on this side of the car literally never i always sit behind the driver like it doesn't even matter whose car it is if it's a taxi i never sit on the left hand side of the car just because when i was younger i used to think it made me feel travel sick pretty sure it makes literally no difference but um yeah it still feels weird to be sat on the side of the car so all of my stuff is packed up here and to be honest i've lost track of what is in which box so that's why um, i'm here yeah that's why that's why you're here and when we get there apparently i've been talking as i said to the people in my group in my group in my flat on facebook and apparently one of the lifts is out of order and there's only two lifts in the whole building and a lot of people are moving in today which seems really early for uni accommodation but um where i'm staying it is a unite students block and it is for all of the lead unis and there are four so a lot of people start their courses like sooner and stuff like that so they they have their moving date as today and tomorrow um so a lot of people are going to be moving in with only one working lift for about i have no idea how many floors there were but there are a lot of floors to the flat so we're almost in leeds now and i thought i'd show you the command strips that we bought because some of you might be interested so i got them from b&m as i said and these ones are velcro and then i also got I think the velcro too a pack of sticky ones because i didn't really need that many velcro ones like i'm not putting loads of pictures on the walls and then i've also got a love island water bottle which literally arrived two weeks ago not even that actually maybe like one week ago when my dad ordered me this when love island first started as like a surprise and a joke and then it arrived in september so yeah that was the joke apparently so the first stuff is now in the flat it is pouring down my brain and there's nothing in here i'm now in my actual room i haven't met anybody else in my flat yet i've been talking to them on facebook but i think there's only one other person in the building um so 
There's literally nothing in it. I'm not gonna film a room tour today. I'm gonna film one, um, but obviously I need to sort it all out. My main thing right now is that it smells in here. Like it stinks. Like obviously the smell will go. It's just probably been standing for a while, but it smells really fusty and don't like it. <laughs> all right, everything is now in. The room looks like this. And I just met my flatmate who was actually so nice and really helpful. He's going into third year, so he's like 21. Um, and <coughs> that means that he's been in uni for like a couple of years. Obviously knows like the like, I don't know. Knows the drill by now basically so we're gonna move some stuff around obviously try and make it look a bit tidier i am coming back tomorrow he's like so shook at how much stuff i brought because obviously as a girl i just overpack and i know that's not stereotyping i think generally i've never met a girl that travels light yeah i think i am the definition of that because i don't really need all this but it's here anyway so we're finding all sorts of little bits and bobs that we've got packed this is from greece when i went on holiday so i'm just gonna pop that Maybe in that cubby hole. I'm not gonna film anything too much yet, but there's these little storage units and they're so cute so far. So we have done quite a lot to the room to be fair. It looks very me now. I don't want you to be able to see it. So I'm gonna stand like that. You can see it everywhere, brilliant. There you go, blank background. Um, yeah, we have done a lot to the room. It looks a lot more me. It looks as if I've lived here for quite a while. I've definitely put my touch in it and you can proper tell that this bedroom also belongs to the bedroom I have at home in that it looks very um, similar. It looks tidy right now. I don't know how long it's going to stay like this. There are like a lot of things in here. Obviously the room isn't big, but by no means is it a mess. And I think the amount of storage I have is amazing. Like I'm so lucky. So now I just need to make sure that I can keep it this way and tidy it up a little bit. So let's see how long that lasts because I really don't think it's going to be that long. Let's be honest. So I'm not going to vlog anything else, but the bedding, well, we've left the actual quilt at home because it wouldn't fit in the car, but everything else is on the bed. I'm going to bring some more cushions tomorrow because I didn't realize that there aren't as many cushions as there looked in the car however i'm now pretty much ready to go home i'm really trying to not show you the room behind but it's so difficult because in every angle there is a mirror but we're gonna go and get in the car and go home so i'm now back home i've been home for a while actually i had a roast dinner for my tea which was amazing because i'm obviously not gonna have really any home cooked meals for a little while although i say that i am actually coming home next weekend which i know is not um what you're meant to do when you move into uni you're not meant to come straight back home again but all will become clear next weekend as to why I have to come home. Like, it's not through choice. Like, I'm, well, it kind of is through choice, but like, I have to come home basically. So that will become clear, but I can't tell you until next weekend, sadly. Apologies. Um, you're just gonna have to subscribe and stay tuned because you're definitely not gonna wanna miss that. Um, however, yeah, I just had my tea. It's now eight o'clock. Strictly is on, which is giving me very autumn vibes. And I don't usually watch Strictly. Like, I'm not one to watch like the X Factor, Britain's Got Talent. Like, I don't really watch stuff like that. But I am gonna watch Strictly this year because Joe. Sug is in it and if you've been a long-standing subscriber you will know that Joe Sug was like an OG obsession so yeah <laughs> uh, so it's weird being back in my room it looks really bare like I've taken my fairy lights off here I've taken like most of my possessions it looks a bit of a mess still but that's because everything's everywhere um, and the reason we're doing it over two days is because I didn't take any clothes with me today because they wouldn't fit in the car like my dad has quite a small boot um, so we're taking my clothes tomorrow so that means now I need to pack a massive suitcase with a lot of clothes but because I'm coming back next weekend I don't need to take all of my clothes so just like half and then another half next weekend so that is the job for now and then I'm gonna have a shower and then Tom is coming over because he is coming with us tomorrow to like you know help me settle in I guess okay so update they're mainly packed now I think there's a little bit of room in here I still have a lot of makeup and toiletries to go in in the morning that one is pretty much done and then I'm bringing these two cushions because as I said there wasn't enough cushions on the bed and I love cushions and even taking these two and the two that are already there I still have like all of these ones so yeah we love a cushion um but right now I'm gonna go and wash my hair Tom is running late which is no shock because he's late to everything so I'm gonna go wash my hair and yeah straighten it maybe actually I'm gonna straighten it in the morning let it dry naturally because it feels really dead from when I was in centre park obviously I went swimming a lot and my hair and chlorine react badly at the best of times because it is so curly but because I just had it dyed the week before my hair Ooh, it's not feeling nice. Um, so I need to really give it a good condition when I'm in the shower. Okay guys, it's now Sunday morning and Tom is here. He's not very well. He stayed last night, but he's got a really bad cold. Um, but it is really, really sunny, which is actually so nice because yesterday it was so rainy when I went to Leeds. It was like pouring down. We got absolutely soaked bringing everything in from the car because we couldn't park that near the accommodation. So everything got really wet, uh, which obviously wasn't that nice because you don't want to be putting like bedding on a bed and it's 
got wet in the room. But today it's really sunny and we're gonna go to Leeds probably about lunchtime-ish or just after lunch, bless you. <laughs> because we still have quite a bit to do this morning. Like my mum is going to buy me quite a bit of food, which is so kind of her. And then I also need to finish packing my clothes, my makeup, my toilet bag, my cameras, all of my electrical equipment, all of that stuff. And um, yeah, I still have to do all of that basically. So I need to get up, have breakfast and then start on that. And I want to straighten my hair, obviously. So I don't really know what else I'm gonna vlog today that is gonna be different to what I vlogged yesterday, but I will vlog some stuff because obviously we're gonna go out for food and that when we're in Leeds. So let's go. So I'm now a bit more ready and by a bit more ready, I mean, literally barely any makeup because i made the mistake of packing my makeup before i'd done it which was so stupid like i knew that i had to do my makeup and then i was like oh i'll just put it in the suitcase so then i took the makeup bag back out but i left all my brushes in the suitcase so essentially i just did the no makeup brush makeup challenge which actually wasn't that hard because my eyebrows are already done so all i've done is eyeliner and mascara and then i put a little bit of an icona highlight on with my finger um and i really need to put some lip balm on my lips are so dry like ugh. and then i need to get changed i don't really have many clothes left at all because obviously i've packed all of them too so i don't know what i'm gonna wear today but tom is set up here he's been making me a new intro haven't you uh which you'll have seen on this video and i've just packed up my camera bag with all of my like vlogging camera instax mini camera and my my um main camera obviously my vlogging camera is in my hand but like it's gonna go in there and then i'm pretty much ready like everything is in the hallway my whole life has been put into boxes and suitcases this is what's left of my desk now essentially nothing Whew. okay i'm now fully ready to go this was the only top i could find that was like somewhat okay um and then i have my jeans on again these are from hollister and then the belt is from calvin klein but it's fake so it's actually from like Greece or somewhere my dad got it on holiday and then Tom is here if you're wondering where the bedding is gone basically if you watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago you'd have known that I said I was having one set of bedding here and one in uni one of them is has my mum moved it yes she has it was on the banister we thought that we had a bare double bed set but we actually don't it was a king size bed and the bed I have at uni is a three quarter size bed which is actually what I have here this is a three quarter bed so I obviously couldn't put king size bedding on that because it would be way too much of like the duvet would just trail on the floor so i'm having to take my actual duvet from home and then while i'm away this week my mum is gonna buy another one put on this bed so that when i come home i don't have to bring my duvet obviously that is so impractical if i was to come home for the weekend to have to cart a duvet on the train i think we're ready like the last thing i need to bring is my laptop and aside from that i'm gonna eat some food and then we're gonna go and it's weird because now i'm not coming back until next weekend which isn't too long at all so this is it all ready to go on day two um it looks so much but basically it's just because of the bedding and then obviously the food's gonna be in the kitchen so like not none of this really is going to take up any room in my actual room it just looks a lot all right let's go Ooh. Ooh. So just put that in Molly. okay we have got way too much stuff for the boot which is brilliant where's the suitcase gonna go exactly. there's another suitcase to go in I yeah know. Ooh, look at the pot noodles we love a student i've got tom's shoes on and they're like three sizes too big another way more than three sizes it's like five sizes too big for me but that's all right Yay! This is it. We've now eaten lunch. We're all getting in the car. Are you sad? Oh, thank you. So we are stocking the fridge up currently with the stuff that I have brought. My essentials. Cranberry juice, which I drink all the time. Orange juice. Healthy stuff. And pizzas. This is looking well stocked. Not really. But, you know, the essentials are there. This is my snack section. We love a health queen. Mm. So we are now command stripping another photo to go up. Tom's not helping at all. He's literally still sat in the kitchen. I'm helping. Don't want to get too much of the room in. Harry is lying in my bed and my dad is putting the photo up. So they've they've put a card in my bag, but I don't know what it is, just says Molly on it. Is this one I've made myself, because this looks a heck of a lot like one I would have made when I was about 10 years old. Oh, it is. <laughs> How embarrassing. Where on earth did you I find this? And I thought it was appropriate. Read it out. No, I'm not reading really it. <laughs> Has my old web address on the back when I was 10 there. Thank you, guys. What web address is it? Mollet site dot com. Mum crying. Are you crying? No. Oh. Should we get an older one? <laughs> I gotta do this. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the room is done now. Like, I don't think there's anything else left to do. There's nothing else to get out of a bag or a car or a box. Um, and it actually, it looks really nice. Like, I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna film a room tour probably tomorrow evening um, after my first day at college, unless I'm having some kind of meltdown and then I won't. Um, I call it college then. University, it college, university. It's because it used to be Leeds College of Art. However, it is now Leeds University of Art. But I think I've definitely put my like personal touches on it and I do really like it. There obviously are things that I will like buy in the next couple of weeks and stuff that I don't have yet. But generally speaking, 
It looks good, doesn't it, Mum? I think it looks lovely. The boys are downstairs playing table tennis in the like common roomy area. Yeah. So we're now in Weatherspoons and I'm keeping the camera low down. Also, I look very, very tired. I need to put some makeup on when I come out. Look how rough I look. You do. You never look rough. Um, thanks Tom. We're having a meal and then these guys are gonna probably leave quite soon. Um, well, no, not till we've had, we're gonna have food and then we're gonna go back to my accommodation and then these guys are gonna leave me. Um, but I am actually going back out, but I'll explain that when you can hear me properly because it's very loud in here. Also, it's very, very backlit, like, that's better. So essentially I wanted chicken and chips, but they don't come on the same plate. So I've got chicken and I've got chips, but then it's three for 10, so I also got nachos. We have so much food here. But it was only £40 for all of this for five people. That's so good. Tom's better because he doesn't punch me like you do. What? Like you, you That implies that I still punch you. <laughs> Please just do it for the no. vlog. It needs a bit of light humour. Why? Because it's been a Someone's sad crying. day. Get Tom to do it. Tom don't care. But no, that's an alligator, isn't it? Not sure. No, just do it. I don't even know what it is. Baby shark. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Isn't that what you do? I haven't even seen it. How have you not seen it? Where have you been? Did do did do, 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 do baby shark do, do. <laughs> Look how blotchy I look. Hmm. So Tom and my mum and dad and Harry have just left. Really tried not to cry. Um didn't really work. I wish I hadn't, but I did. I just watched their car like fully, like I watched them walk to the car, watched them get in the car, watched them pull out of the car park and drive all the way down the road. And I wish I hadn't done that, but I've done it now. And I was just thinking like, I could still go down and get in the car. I could still go down and get in the car. I could still go down. What have I done? Like, what am I doing? It feels so like weird. And I'm not usually like this because I travel a lot and I'm alone in hotel rooms quite a, quite a lot. Like obviously doing YouTube and stuff, but yeah so i just feel a bit weird but i'm not like sad i'm just like sad that they've left i wish tom could have stayed with me but then i know that if tom had have stayed with me that later on he would then have to leave and i would be upset again but i don't like being on my own somewhere where i know nobody like usually when i'm alone i go to london and i know people in london so it's never like i'm never too far away but i don't know anybody at all in leeds like nobody just feel really odd um i think a good thing that is going to happen today is that i have organized to meet some people on my course um which actually starts tomorrow so really soon when when this vlog goes up uh, i'll have just done my first day but i organized to meet them in weatherspoons funnily enough the weatherspoons i was just in in an hour from now so i really need to pull myself together it's like 10 minutes into town i think i just need to do it like i think i just need to not overthink it and just do this week i think this is always going to be the hardest night like just sat on my own in a flat with people walking past outside that i don't know who they are like it's weird <sighs> i'm not looking my finest but i'm gonna go out and hopefully not cry oh god what a mess i hope the people i meet are nice and i know that the people that i'm sharing a flat with can hear that i'm talking to myself so yay i am now back Obviously, I didn't film anything. I don't want to whip a camera out when I've literally just met the people. However, it was a lot more positive than I thought it was going to be. Obviously, it was awkward, like these kind of things always are, but I didn't find it that awkward. And the girls that I met seemed really nice. Obviously, I don't know, like I literally spent an hour and a half with them, but they all seemed friendly. And yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable now that I've like met familiar faces that I'm going to be seeing tomorrow. And then I just spent like an hour with my flatmates in the kitchen um just like having a cup of tea and like chatting a bit about like where we're from and stuff like that and i also met people downstairs because i've already successfully managed to lock myself out does it surprise anybody though really does it because it doesn't surprise me so yeah i had to wait for maintenance to come and lock like let me back in and while i was doing that um i met the people downstairs who were also really friendly so so far i can't really complain about anybody i've met they've all been really nice so i still feel a bit weird obviously i think i'm gonna for like the first few weeks but it hasn't been awful I've got over my emotions, I think. I'll probably cry again later, but for now, I'm going to end the vlog. So thank you for watching. If you're new here, please do subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll be back on, I think, Thursday with a room tour video. I'm not too sure, but I think it'll be about Thursday or maybe Friday, but yeah, soon, towards the end of the week. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll be back very soon. Bye!